We're going to look at how do you generate min max values for a facility for a data set. To generate min max values, you go to data administration. You go down to min max value generation and you generate min max values. You need to select a data set. You need to select a region or a district, and we're choosing District 6, Facility 418. So all the data elements that relate to the antenatal care data set will have min-max values generated, and we click Generate. And it tells us the min-max generation is done. So let's go and have a look. So we go to Data Entry. And we remember that it's Region A, it's District 6, it's Facility 418. We select A and C, and then let's select a time period, August this year. And here we see all the values. Now, to see what's going on, we double click on a value, and that will show us the min and the max ranges that have been automatically set for this facility for this value. And we can have a look and think, do we like these ranges? Do they make sense? Are they too wide? Are they too narrow? And if we look at the historical data, um, the minimum has been set at five and the maximum is at 25. I think that that is a good range. It will drop stop any values below five or over 25 because those don't fit the pattern. Let's look at another value to see if we can find something that will perhaps give us a bit more of a range. Let's have a look. H ANC HIV test negative. Let's look again. And here we can see the ranges have been set but they are very wide because the ranges are automatically set to take in the least and the most. But if we look at this very clearly, we can see that this up here, any value above 20 really seems to be out of the range. So I'm going to change this the maximum value. I'm going to change it to 20. Now, the minimum value has been set at zero to accommodate the months that are missing. But if we have a look here, I think we could make the minimum five. Let's change it and let's save it. And so now we have a range that will trap anything below five and over 20. And if we have a look at this, this looks not too bad, but maybe 20 is a little bit small for this one. Let me make it 22. Because min-max ranges are not punishment. They are there to aid good quality data entry, and that will trap the bulk of the data that's coming in. The minimum, I think we can leave it as, uh, as it is as five. So that is how you set the min-max ranges for a facility for the data elements. Now, this only applies to this facility for these data elements. It doesn't apply to any other facility. But let's go and have a look at this value for August 2019, which is so high. So let's open it and we go back one year and we go to August 2019. And here we can see that it's now been color coded because it's it's high and there's no previous data. So if you had previous data and that previous data was within the range and the explanation for why there were new cases uh, or, or why it exceeded the range, we could put a comment here about uh, uh, catch up after stock out of test kits. So now we've explained why this value is above the range. And we put a star comment in there and we save the comment.
So if we run something to have a look at why this value is out of range, we have a comment to explain to us it because they did a catch up after stockouts. 